We start talking a life cycle of sheep and their nutrition on it. We're gonna go right here with them being short day breeders. So whereas cattle could breed and we had fall versus spring calving and cattle and sheep, we're gonna, most of them are gonna cycle uh, once we get into the shorter days. And so in the fall of the year, that will start their estrus synchronization on it. So when we get into that, uh, typically guys, we're always gonna breed sometime in the fall and some will breed earlier, maybe an August type deal where they're shooting for January one babies. At the farm, we usually shoot for about October 15th. And with a gestation length or pregnancy of five months, and what we run into with cattle, we were at nine months. But if we're gonna sit here and have a five month pregnancy, then we're counting uh, October 15th, then we're going November 15th, January, excuse me, November, December, January, February, March, and that's gonna leave us back here lambing around March 15th. And so what that does for us there is we know we're coming into the spring, typically in a sheep production deal. And at that point on it there, we're hitting the ground with our first babies and we're looking pretty much strictly ryegrass, our winter type grazing on it. Now the other thing where we ran into about a seven month period in terms of uh, when we weaned calves on it and sheep, we're looking at two to three months right here before we hit to weaning. A lot of times too, our oldest lambs will be pushing three months and we'll try to hit a point where our youngest lambs in there are hitting about two months of age to guarantee that they've gotten a minimum 60 days on it. So if we figure that and we count forward, we've got April 15th, um, May, June 15th. So weaning up in here is gonna be somewhere right up around June 15th. And so for us right here on it too, our birth weight, a lot of times with our natives are gonna be anywhere from six to eight pounds. And then for high maintenance type varieties and breeds on it, uh, where we've talked about that, low maintenance and high maintenance forages, low maintenance and high maintenance breeds of cattle. Those bigger, growthier ones typically used in 4-H and FFA and for the livestock shows may be up in here around 12 to 14 pounds at birth. So similarly, a lot of our natives in there may end up being somewhere closer to, um, oh, probably a 30 to 40 pounds depending upon whether they're singles or twins. And that's the other thing, we'll talk ovulation and stuff on it as well, but sheep on there have a chance of being singles or twins. Um, and I've even heard there's several bloodlines and stuff that have even gone up to quadruplets. Uh, our fin sheep on it, they're talking about sextuplets or up to even six. But typically speaking on our black faced sheep and then even our ones at the farm, singles or twins, um, and that's what we're looking at. So, weaning right here, we're back by June 15th. We're talking 30 to 40 pounds, as much as 50 or 60 on some others. And then, guys, we can even feed here. You're looking at anywhere from two months up to maybe four months if we're pushing them hard. And so from the time we come off here and they hit the ground March 15th, um, we are more than capable of sending those guys down the road right up here in October. Now, we can also do a little slow type growth with them, almost like we did with the stalkers on cattle. Turn them out on that aspect, let them go through the summer, bring them up, develop some frame, and then we could push them on some feed then. So our 100 to 110 pounds is basically for some of our hair breeds of sheep um, or our natives that we have at the farm. And the same thing, we can call those right there our low maintenance breeds and breed types on it. So our high maintenance varieties on it, and that would be more of our Suffolk, our natives on there, our Suffolk, excuse me, our Hampshires, we may put 4-H and FFA show sheep. Those animals there would be more likely to be a, probably a 100, 
and even extend up to about 160 pounds. So variation right here on it, depending upon whether they're high maintenance varieties of breeds on it or whether they're low maintenance ones. Now, another thing, we start talking about management right here of the U flock. Once we wean, and right here at weaning, guys, is she bred? No. So she is what we call a dry U and different from cattle, a dry cow hopefully is bred because she has to rebreed back before we wean the offspring or the calf off of her. In sheep, we're looking right here at a dry phase from June 15th, uh, or six month or whatever on it, all the way back around here. So we're talking basically four months right there for the ewe flock and running summer pasture and grazing to put back on their body weight. And so we're able to sit here and look at them and put back on body weight on that aspect on it. Uh, we'll use the same body condition scores. Thing with sheep, body condition scores will go one to five. So that three down the middle will be similar to our five when we talk cattle. But we basically have four months to come back around before we even have to breed. We're not lactating. There's no fetus growing inside of us. So we can be pretty low maintenance on them at that point. Now, another management thing on it though too. Somewhere around August, we would need to shear. And by shearing, we're actually increasing nutrients. And so I'll probably even ask that on the next quiz on it. Thing is, guys, she, she, once we shear her and we take that wool off and that insulation that cools her, which burns less calories on our heat increment that we talked about back before, and the same token, it allows her being cooler, she'll graze more as well. So by shearing her out then, we are decreasing our heat stress and heat increment on it and so that increases available energy for her to sit here and use uh, for multiple ovulations or use to put weight on. The thing with sheep, if they are in good condition or a good body condition score, then that's going to equate to twins or multiple ovulations. So if they're in poor condition, then a lot of times they'll only end up with a single. So just the management deal right there. We're gonna sit and breed them in the fall. Most are gonna be short day breeders. Um, our natives and Katahdins and some hair breeds of sheep are the exception to the rule. So if we breed in the fall, all we have to do is count five months forward and then we're gonna turn around and lamb in the spring. This 150 day gestation, all actuality, it's about 143 or 142 to 144, just depending. But it's easier just to use a little cowboy math. They're gonna hit the ground at six to eight pounds versus cattle hitting the ground at 70 to 80. 12 to 14 pounds for the high maintenance breeds. We're gonna sit and run lactation on it two to three months so that we wean roughly three months after the first one hit the ground. Our weights on our light ones are gonna be 30 to 40 pounds. And remember, if they're twins, then that means that that ewe turned around and generated 60 to 80 pounds of lamb by having two of them. They had singles on it, may we weigh up to 50 pounds here. If we really want to push them and go straight to the feedlot and push them to sell, then we can put them on full feed for roughly two to four months here, and we can head to market in October. Uh, market weight for our lightweight and our low maintenance varieties, our natives and our haired sheep, we're looking at that 100 to 110 pounds right in there. For our high maintenance, our 4-H FFA breeds of sheep on it, we're looking at that 100 to 160 pounds on it. Management for the ewe flock, once we wean there, June 15th, 
then we're able to sit there and turn them loose. And guys, they've got four full months to eat without having a fetus inside of them um, and without having to lactate. So typically they're gonna be able to put their weight back on before the following breeding season. Around August, we'll shear, and what that does is it decreases that heat increment that we talked about, and we're increasing the energy levels uh, because we're not burning it as to sit and stay cool. And likewise, by being cooler, then they'll turn around and graze and consume more. And so anytime we can improve that body condition score on it, then we improve the likelihood of twins on that. So it's pretty much where we're gonna be on that. Now, if we're talking about managing and stuff in the fall and when we're gonna turn animals out, a lot of times on it, if we're gonna turn them out around October 15th, then the heat cycle, or excuse me, the estrus cycle for sheep, and in cattle on there, we were talking about it being 21 days. For sheep, we're looking at 16 to 17 days before they come back in. So when we take the first deal, if they don't hit October 15th, then we know October 31st or November 1st, they should be coming back into heat. So a lot of times we just do exposure to a ram. I like six weeks. So you're looking at roughly 42 days right there, and that should get everybody an opportunity on it. So where we talked about weaning back earlier on there and letting them run to 90 days, a lot of times on here too, some people will go with strictly five weeks, which equates to 35 days. And so by doing that, you allow her two heat cycles. So either 32, 34, if you double them up, allows her two opportunities to breed. And so that's a nice number there too. And that means you're gonna have a little tighter kind of lamb crop than we do sometimes with cattle. So our estrus cycle is 16 to 17 days. Our key things for it for pregnancy slash gestation was five months. Uh, we're fall breeders. Our weaning time or weaning age is typically gonna be two to three months. Our birth weight is typically going to be around 10 pounds, a little lighter for natives, a little heavier for Suffolk's and Hampshire's. Our weaning weight, we're going to say, is going to be anywhere in there from 40 to 50 pounds. And then our market weight, depending upon high maintenance varieties, we can go 100 up to 160, 180. And then for our natives and our haired sheep on it, our low maintenance varieties, usually right at 100 pounds is gonna get them. 